Hi, I'm Austin. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Dave. And we're Teens Talk Hockey. had a very, well, not very, but pretty decent season. They barely scraped in the playoffs with the eighth seed, but they lost in a close, very close series with the Washington Capitals. I agree. They did have a very, they had a decent season. You know, wait, I said that wrong, didn't I? No. I said Washington. Oh, uh, yeah, they lost to the Rangers. Yeah, Rangers, sorry. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, right here. Here's a, here's a, here. between Rangers. Me, between summer right here, there'll be an annotation to our last episode. Yes, the Rangers, pretty good yes. episode. With and with that now, like you, like I was, like I'm gonna say, I, not like I just did. That. <laughs> Never mind. The the Rangers had a, had a decent regular season, like, like as I agree. Josh, yeah. they got eight, they got the eighth seed. They they well, yeah, it gets back, comes back to the Rangers. They lost close series to the Rangers in seven games. Yeah, but they, you know, what the, uh, one high point of the season is their offense. Their offense, two hundred forty nine yes. goals, tied with Vancouver for fourth. Yep, pretty pretty third, good actually. Fourth, fourth. Oh uh, no, they tied for third. No, but no, they no, were no. In fourth. Oh, no, 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 no. They, they, they on NHL.com, they're the ranked fifth because they have less goals. Against, I, they have more I goals see. against, but now they, I see. But they're ranked fourth, yeah. So, Anyways. And, then and their defense was, well, kind of mediocre at uh, 24th. But it's still, it's still a good season on their part, making yeah. the playoffs. And especially when there were many people out of the tab as 15th or 14th, except for this season. Yeah. The Ottawa Senators had a good enough regular season. They made the playoffs, and they had a good playoff run against the Rangers. They had a close game seven, losing two to one. Mm -hmm. It was very close series. Like honestly, when it gets that deep into the series, it's really it's anybody's, anybody's game. game. Just like the Bruins and Capitals. Yeah. You know, Ottawa, yeah, Ottawa did lose a pretty close series. Yeah, like uh, Rangers. Just it was anybody's in. game when it comes to a game seven. I know all the scoring happened in the second period. Yeah, too. it did, and it was only two one. I know. It's usually usually the game seven is something like this. It's like one team gets an early goal, rings like that, like one nothing for the longest time, and the other team gets a, either one team gets a late goal. You know, I did not watch the playoffs, but did Craig Anderson like lead the game? You didn't the watch the playoffs? Almost, but um, did Craig Anderson? Murder! Murder! Shut up! Murder! Did Craig Anderson leave the game before the handshake? Did it came uh, back? I'm, I don't even know. Because he had a temp. I watched the game seven, but I don't remember. But because I think um, Craig Anderson got so mad about being eliminated, so he left before the handshake and came back. Okay. Yeah, it was a pretty good series. wasn't the It wasn't the best series in the playoffs. That would, that would have to go to the Washington Boston series. Yeah, it but, would. Because each goal yeah, was that would, that would each be just by one goal. goal. But it was still one of the best series in the yeah. Yeah. playoffs. It was. Yeah, it was very close. Two one score games, and Alfredson had that one goal for the series. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's also it's good nice that he got the count. Besides, I think the Rangers did deserve to win the playoffs. You know, well, they didn't win. They made the conference finals. Well, they deserved to get that far. Like honestly, they well, with regular season success, they deserved to win that series. And they honestly on regular season success they deserve to win the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. Well they made they won two rounds, still an accomplishment in itself. Mm hmm Win two winning two playoff series is, is a good accomplishment in itself. Yeah, but we'll be talking about the best Questions. players next. Yeah, best players next. <clears throat> Eric Carlson is easily the team the team's best player on this team. It's not even it's not even up for debate. I mean really. I mean you have your defense when you all well, he was behind Spezza by six points with seventy eight on the team, but still he leads the league with points among defensemen. He led the league in goals among defensemen and assists among defensemen, all three major scoring statistics. That's good. <laughs> he was also rewarded with the Norris Trophy for his efforts. I mean, he's an unbelievable skater. He can, he's quick. He's fast. He can shoot. I mean, he's, he can work a little bit on his defensive game, but still, he's he's a great all-around player. I love it. I love Eric Carlson. Daniel Alverson is a relative of Alfred from Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Robin! And Austin's Catwoman. Yeah. Don't tell him though. Shh, shh, shh. Anyways, what were we saying about Alfredson? Um, he has 27 goals and 59 points, which is pretty good for the regular season. It was actually pretty good. 
He's a pretty good leader on the team, yeah. too. Don't you have anything to say about Spezza? Or who are you oh, yeah, about? Jason Spezza. He is the alternate captain of the team, which shows his leadership abilities. But, hey, he Alveson, very good. Alveson is a true leader of the team. Yeah, he is. I guess so. But he did pretty good. He. What are you looking over there for? You look like looking at Austin's knees? <laughs> No, but anyways, Jason Spezza led the team with 84 points. That's really good. I'm pro gangster. Yeah, wearing chain. I'm in the hood with Carlson. No, you're kind of a nerd for wearing Renaissance stuff, medieval stuff. He likes LARPing. Yeah. What? what is LARPing? Live action role playing where a bunch of nerds He's wear. He's a giant... LARPing. LARPing. No, no, they, they wear big costumes and have like imaginary like fights, like. Foam swords! Yeah, you're dead. I'm gonna try to make this a hill. You guys keep talking. Anyways, I think Carlson probably is the team's best player. Like, he was incredible, and he won the North hey, Trophy. And I agree with you about Spencer. So, he's insane. He has sick hands, and he can score. Well, he can score, but, you know, he's a player. What about Carlson? Or were you I, I just said that. What oh, do you I think, think, I think you think, What do you think of Alperson? He's old. And he, let, he has a red he's face. Pro he's probably going to retire. He has a red face evidenced by many years of alcohol. Oh, another alcohol joke. Uh, what is that? Like, number... I don't even know. I know, dude. We love did, alcohol. Did you do that Russian <laughs> joke about vodka? Yes, we're not bringing up that joke. I just did. Vodka. Uh, yeah, so Alfred said he's, really, he's a good player. He scored 27 goals this year. Ah, I can remember my stats even though it's not even my line. Um, okay, just toss that thing out of here. Now... You broke it. <laughs> oh, oh no! I didn't break. Oh, okay, whatever. Let's get uh, let's get on with the next part. What is that? Uh, questions. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Question on next. Stay tuned. My question is: Can Alverson pick up the pace and um, keep up with this team and possibly boost up their offense for next season? Have yeah, because good year? he's pretty old. He's probably gonna retire soon. He's probably gonna start slowing Maybe down. Maybe the um, possibly the next year he might. Yeah. Some, at the end of next year. In the near future. My question, though, is will their goalie, Craig Anderson, he has struggled in the past. Will he struggle this year, or will he be good? He's, you know, he has been consistent, right? Pretty he good has, goalie. but I, I don't know. Not really. Mm. I see you're invading everybody's scenes, Josh. What is this, your fifth double-double from Tim's Hortons? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Really high on coffee. Yeah, yeah but my question is, <laughs> in all seriousness, my question is, my question is, can this defense be consistent enough? Because, you know, basically it's like this. It's like, Carlson, nobody. Gonchar. I guess so. Gonchar, I guess Kuba, or did he get traded somewhere? I can't remember. I, I think he got traded. I'm not sure. Check NHL.com for us, and then put... put Here's a link to NHL.com. No, I'm not. I, you can't do that in the annotations. Really? No, you can't. I can't. Oh, dang. You don't even run the YouTube, so... <laughs> okay. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah, like, um... Their offense, it's basically just, not their offense, their defense is basically just Carlson, Gonchar, and then maybe maybe Phillips, maybe Cowan, but, uh, but, but basically really, Carlson's leading them. Basically, Carlson's our only real real first pair guy. Yeah. Yeah. Gonchar's more of a second pair. He's kind of went down the past couple years. 2009 with Pittsburgh would have been a first pair. Yeah, right? I guess so, but it's... it's things haven't really panned with, out with him for Ottawa. No. Yeah, like you're saying, like, uh, Alfredson can, well, should be able to boost up this offense if he's consistent enough, and you're saying... Craig Anderson make it make yeah. it be consistent. Because honestly, he really yeah. struggles but at being consistent. Would you I mean, like, just just a year ago with Colorado, he was awful. Yeah. 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 Would yeah. you think that Alfredson might retire from, to, from next... After the end of next season, Speak. do you think he'll... <laughs> at the end of next season, would you think he'll retire? Or something? Very good, my young Padawan. Shut up, I'm older but than... But honestly... Star Wars reference! I feel bad for him, because with this lockout, he might just have to retire early. Yeah, I know. It's gonna, it's gonna suck for him. Yeah. And so all those players who are around retiring, they might just have to retire. I know, because of lockouts. Yeah. Too bad for Ryan Smith. Yeah. Go Oilers! Yeah! Oh well. Anyways, what do you predict for next season? Uh, I don't, I don't, even, I don't, have, I don't have them in the playoffs. I'd probably see 10th or 11th. I say uh, possibly 7th. My prediction for next season, if there is a next season, is probably going to be... Just making or just not making. They're going to be fighting for a playoff spot. Oh, right? well, you know, they, even if there is eight or nine. Even if there is a, even if there isn't a bad season, you can remember I can just switch the numbers on these. They're still valid, still valid information. Yeah, I if guess. If Alperson so. retires, then I have to say um, eighth or ninth, but um, I'll say seventh. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Somewhere around there. 
But anyways, what? who's next? That would be uh Philly. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. With Flyers. 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 Finally. Finally. Yes. Oh wait, wait, wait. Go Flyers. Yay. Wow. Flyers. Anyways, Philadelphia Flyers are next. And just to let you know, I won't be here, but I'll be here. Well, kind of. You'll be in this big. I'll be in my over box. Here. Over You'll, he'll be in the box you, you seen it in Chicago. He's yeah, in, that he's, one. He's in a box called the iPad. Uh, yeah, I'm f just like Did I did in Chicago, that? which will be right here with a link for Chicago. Actually, no, um, yeah, I guess. Okay, and with that, I'm Philadelphia's Austin. next. See you later. I'm Austin. I'm Josh. And I'm Damien, ladies. And we're Teens, Teens Talk Hockey. Talk.